Hey everybody, it's Mr. Fleece and this week I'm back in the studio. Today I really just kind of want to get into some art making with you. I want to show you a little bit about my process when I begin a painting and how that looks. A few things that I want to point out. Hey, I have here a recycled gesso canvas. This is my sketchbook and lately I've been doing these kind of daily doodles that are in this kind of abstract with a focus on color and shape. And I want to combine these colors and shape ideas into a work of art. Another thing I want to share with you is I have these wonderful Beneful dog food containers. These containers are going to save my life because I can mix up a large quantity of color and then I can keep them from drying out and I'm recycling these plastic containers. So I think with this I document the recipe for the color on the side so if I want to recreate that color I can. Okay, so I have a bunch of paints here. Yay! I got all kinds of paints. I'm so excited. So I got a bunch of paint and I'm gonna mix some colors. Shake it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it up. Let's start with a little white. So I've mixed all of my colors and I have a lovely coral color. I have a nice seafoam green. I also have a kind of nice orange with a t little brown tint to it. And lastly, I have a nice blue, like a seafoam blue. My colors really remind me of the beach, so I'm gonna start by drawing in, sketching in some subject matter that takes me to the beach. All right, so I got my sketch on there. Just some kind of like beachy elements. So I've got some waves that kind of clash into clouds. This kind of palm tree coming in, some rock formations like a little cliff. Some swirls up here that I think will just kind of translate into wind or movement. And up here I've got a nice palm tree happening. So I'm just gonna start getting into this now. So now it's time to begin the underpainting. So in order to make my paint come together nicely on a canvas, I create color relationships. And when I mix my colors for a painting, I start to combine some of the original colors from the tubes in each of the colors that I'm going to mix up for my canvas. And this creates a relationship that allows the colors to look nice and to fit well on the canvas. So in order to achieve that, I've used the same colors in different ways to mix up all the different colors that will be in my painting. Okay, everybody, so here's the deal. I'm excited, I got my underpainting finished, but bam, check it. Live it, love it, I do. One of the things I absolutely love, ooh, there's a fuzz, get. One of the things I absolutely love about this so far is that there's this kind of stark contrast between cool tones happening here, mixing with these warm tones happening here. So this is what I have for my underpainting. Thanks for watching, I hope that you're staying safe and you're finding time to be creative. Fleece out. Where's my towel? <laughs> Take care.